welcome back to another Stacy Summer Series. Last time I showed you how to make some delicious treats for your four-legged family members. Well today, coming from my kitchen, I'm going to show you how to make something delicious for those two-legged family members. I'm going to show you how to make a tres leches or three milk uh, poke cake. So stay tuned, keep watching, and I'll show you everything you need to do to create this delicious, yummy treat. So here we are with all of the ingredients that we'll need to make this delicious tres leches poke cake. And the first thing you're going to want to do though before you start is to preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Now, as, is, as in last time, I will have a uh, copy of this recipe listed in the description so that if you just want to watch how it's done and then go back for the actual ingredient and instruction list, uh, you can do that. So. Uh, this recipe really could not be easier. You're going to start with just a white boxed cake mix, any brand, doesn't matter, and then all of the ingredients that you need to make that cake. So that is a cup of water, it is a third cup of vegetable oil, and three egg whites. So you will just follow the instructions on the back of the box to create that cake. Uh, once the cake comes out, um, I will demonstrate that, but I'll just give you an overview real fast. Once the cake comes out, what you're going to need is a skewer or a chopstick or some implement to poke holes all the way around your still warm cake so that the three milks that you're going to mix together can get down and soak into the cake. So the ingredients that you're going to need to make the tres leches or the three milk portion of your recipe are a can of sweetened condensed milk, a can of evaporated milk, again any brand, and a cup of heavy whipping cream. Now I have made this um, with a cup of whole milk as well uh, and that works just great but I thought it was a special occasion and I'm going to make it extra decadent. So I'm going to use some whipping cream uh, and then so that's the three milk portion and after you pour the milk over your cake you let it rest in the refrigerator for a few hours and then you're topping. So you really only for this recipe need two ingredients for your topping. You need an eight ounce container, not this giant tub of Cool Whip. Um, they only had this in my store. They were sold out of the, the smaller size, but a the eight ounce size of Cool Whip and a container of fresh strawberries. Um, you can sugar those strawberries if you like, but this cake is so sweet on its own. I love the contrast of the of the just barely sweet Cool Whip and the fresh summer uh, berry taste of a unsugared strawberry. So that's everything you're going to need uh, to create this tres, le tres leches cake. Say that 10 times fast. Uh, so when I come back, I will have the cake baked and I'll show you the next step of poking holes and pouring over your, your tres leches or your sweetened three milk uh, ingredient next. All right, so now that your home smells delicious of yummy baked cake, You've taken it out of the oven and it springs back when you touch it. It looks beautiful with a little light golden uh, brown top. Now what we're gonna do is it's just now come out of the oven so it's still really warm. So we're just gonna set it aside for a second while we mix together our milks. So let's get this evaporated milk, give it a good shake, shake, shake. Pop open the top of this and we're just Going to pour them all into a bowl and give them a good whisk. So there's one milk. Here's our second milk. Our evaporated, or no, our sweetened condensed milk. We've already put in our evaporated milk. Here's our sweetened condensed. Oh. And there's my dog. 
who thinks someone is here and they're not. Piper, nobody's here. Relax. Heaven's sakes. I think she's just mad because she's not going to get any of this cake. Oh, don't you sass me. Oh, and I left the, I left the heavy cream. And your last milk, your third milk, is heavy cream. We're going to put that all in there and give that a good whisking. Okay. So since that's all done, now we're going to go on to our next step. And that is we are going to poke holes all throughout our cake. And here's my nice little poking instrument or a skewer. And I'm just going to go all along and poke, 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 poke. So here is where I do the fast forward. Okay, now you have your cake full of holes ready and waiting for this delicious milk mixture to be poured all over the top. Now, I like to pour my milk mixture slowly so that every last drop gets soaked into the cake. I don't like to see a big soppy edge full of that milk. I want to know that it's all inside the cake and every bite is going to be saturated with this delicious uh, sweet milk. So what I like to do is I like to put my milk into a container that has a little spout. Um, you could use a measuring cup or um, uh, anything that has a little spout. So let's see how big of a mess I can make by trying to get this milk into here. Okay, not quite as, oh, we're doing all right. All right, so we're going to slowly pour this all over the top. And I go, I go very slow and I like to make sure, I like to watch it soak in before I put on another helping. Now it's okay if some runs down the side. I just don't like it when you just pour it over the top and you have a very thick edge that's not soaked in to the, to the big bulk of the cake. So I'm going to continue to do this slowly off camera and then when all of the milk is poured onto the cake, I'll come back and let you know what that looks like. And here it is. All the milk has been poured over top. It's soaked in. I don't know if I, if I lean it, if some will come out. But as you can see, it's all soaked into the cake. There's not a lot of moisture or, or pooling of the milk on the edges. It's all been soaked in to the yummy uh, box cake. So I'm going to pop this in the refrigerator for just a few hours to cool down, set up, and it will be ready uh, for its next step of Cool Whip and strawberries when it comes out of the fridge. Okay, and here's your cake fresh out of the refrigerator. It's been about two hours since I've allowed this to set up and we're on to our next step of our toppings and all we're going to do is use not a 16 ounce tub but an 8 ounce uh, portion of Cool Whip and then cover that with our fresh strawberries. Now all I've done to my strawberries so far is I just gave them a good wash and cut them in half and I actually have a utensil here that I use to slice up my strawberries. So I'm just going to give them a good slice and uh, I will be right back after I slice up these strawberries to show you the very last few steps. All right, now that all my strawberries are sliced up and ready to go, we are going to simply take some Cool Whip, half of this big container, and spread out all over the top. I like to get the edges
nothing real fancy here. You can make this as fancy as you like if you wanted to pipe little rosettes or um, spread this out a little fancier, but we're not fancy people here, so <laughs> I'm perfectly happy with the more rustic looking homemade cake and just even it out so everybody gets the same amount of frosting or Cool Whip. And then when that is finished, it's imperative that you taste the Cool Whip mixture. It's good. Yep, this is a good batch. Then once you have your Cool Whip all spread over your cake, then you're just going to take your strawberries and put these over the top. Now this is my favorite um, fruit topping. If you like blueberries, that would be gorgeous on here. But I love this combination the best, the sweet milk infused cake with the Cool Whip and strawberries. It's delicious. It really does kind of remind you of a strawberry shortcake. Now, I will tell you this, Arlene makes an amazing strawberry poke cake. And I bet you, if you asked her in the comments to post her making that recipe, she would certainly do that because I can attest to that cake's amazing fresh summer taste. It just screams summer with the sweet um, strawberry jello in, in the cake and the strawberries on top. Uh, it's so good. So get to type in those comments down below and I bet you she would be more than happy to share that recipe with you on here as well. So there you have it, your tres leches cake, your poke cake, ready for any summer get together. Let's get it up. Oh my gosh, it weighs so much now. <laughs> but look at that, isn't it gorgeous? I am so excited to try this later tonight with our dessert, So, uh, or as our dessert. So, I'm going to go ahead and cut this up so I can pull a piece out so you can see exactly what it looks like on the inside. So here you can see on the inside of the cake, you can even see some of the little holes that the skewer is left behind. And you can see that it, even though it's a very moist cake, it's not a soppy cake. It's just right. So moist and delicious. Here's my piece. And I think maybe the last thing to do is to take a bite of it and see. Okay, how. and here's the real measure of a cake. Look at that. It is gorgeous. It's light and sweet, but fresh, not too sweet. It's perfect for warm summer parties, desserts to bring to a party, or really anytime you want a sweet treat. Let me try this out. Oh my goodness. Y'all, please. Do yourselves a favor, make this cake. It is so good. Well, I have a rather large piece to finish, so I will leave you, as Arlen usually says, until next time, y'all take good care. <laughs>